What's up guys? So I really don't want to be making this video, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard either over social media or Instagram already that uh, our friend Ponchi has uh, passed away. Uh, yesterday he was in a car accident and uh, we were at the shop yesterday. Everyone was doing their own thing when Brent got a call from our buddy Chris and uh, he was already starting to tear up and he kind of wanted to gather everyone together and he was crying by the time everyone got together and he broke the news to us that Ponty had passed away. Uh, I guess he was picking up his kid from school and a uh, drunk driver ran a stop sign and T-boned the side of his car right as he was pulling into the middle of an intersection and the driver was in a minivan and then the minivan veered off, ran into a building and uh, yeah, and he didn't he didn't make it through it, and uh, yeah, it's really sad. His family has already made this stuff public, so that's why I feel at least comfortable enough to let you guys know. And uh, I figured I'd put a video out there to address it because he was kind of part of the channel, and uh, he wasn't you know necessarily always on camera or like a main character if you want to call it that, but he was uh, definitely. A real friend behind the scenes he was always at the shop hanging out with everyone and he was definitely part of our group and uh, yeah yesterday we went to a uh, candlelight like ceremony for him where it happened and out here we usually have car meets on you know the weekends like Friday Saturday Sundays and yesterday's meet uh, was canceled and instead they just had everyone kind of go over there to pay their respects to him and uh, it was really nice, like hundreds and hundreds of people showed up. So many people know Ponchi around here. And like, if you're in the car scene out here and you go out to the meets, there's a very good chance you know who Ponchi is. So he got a whole bunch of support. So many people were there, which was awesome to see. And I did bring my camera, but it didn't feel, feel right to film anything there. So um, yeah, so I just wanted to take a minute and break the news to you guys. It is really unfortunate. And it is really sad and you know yesterday we were all just kind of quiet the rest of the day didn't do much and then today is kind of almost the same sort of feeling it's the next day right now it's just really crazy that when we heard he was in an accident everyone's first thought was that he was out doing something dumb because he had just picked up a uh, 350z that he got that was like supercharged and everyone's first thoughts that he was out doing something dumb and he wrecked the car and it was his own fault, you know, doing something reckless, but he was just, you know, minding his own business, picking his kid up from school is what I heard he was doing. And uh, his kid was in the back of the car when it happened. And fortunately, his kid survived with pretty much no scratches at all. He was fine. He was out of the hospital the same day. They re the only reason they took him was just to, uh, you know, check him out. And I don't want to give too many details, guys, but... I do want to make it clear that he was uh, minding his own business. It wasn't him doing nothing dumb. And yeah, it just really sucks. And to think he was just at the shop hanging out with us a few days ago, it just really kind of came out of nowhere. And uh, I was really debating on how I should go about this, if I should do a video and address it. And I feel like I, I might as well. I think you guys kind of deserve to know and he was really loved by the whole car community out here and I don't know I really don't have any other words to say it's just crazy don't take life for granted it's just unreal how fast it can just end for someone like no like when this when we heard this no one would have thought that could happen to Ponchi it still doesn't feel real that he's like just that, that happened but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and play some videos, at least uh, the best memories I've had of him. Um, I'm sure there's several other videos that he's been in, and it would just take me so long to dig up all the old files and go through all the videos, but I know a lot of videos off the top of my head that uh, he was in, and he was just in the shopping cart video, ripping, ripping the shopping cart around, having a blast. But uh, yeah, especially for those of you that might be somewhat newer subscribers that might not know uh, much about his past in our videos and stuff I'll play some videos of that like we turboed his Civic in a day like way back when and 
he was out mopping up the streets, racing vets, like just banging gears and he's, he's always been in, into the turbo hondas and he always had a new one like every two weeks but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and roll some videos real quick of some stuff that we did back then with ponchi unfortunately you know he wasn't in too many videos so we don't have a whole bunch of stuff but at least we do have what we have so i'm gonna go ahead and roll some of those videos real quick for you guys all right we're trying to help ponchi get his car turbo in today he has a k24 swap patch and he's the one taking my old turbo manifold off the MR2. We just cut it off and we're having to modify it to make the turbo fit in there. Look at that. This manifold will be for sale in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, once Ponchi gets rid of it. He only keeps his cars for about a week or so. Just got some pizza. Thank you, Ponchi. Everyone's taking a break. Oh wait, yeah, Brent paid for it. <laughs> but now, but Ponchi owes him now. This thing came in completely NA. It's gonna be boosted by the end of the night. Fits. Oh yeah. Yo, we're here with the boosted boys. They ain't got no toys. We're here to fucking kick them ass. That's why I don't smoke grass. <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot of work. I mean, yeah. it takes a lot of work. Oh, 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 He's not about the violence at all. He doesn't like that hammer. Make me want to back my car up now. Do it. Do it? Yeah. I'll do it real quick. So we had to turn it down to where it's like still even. Oh, I see. Yeah. Is okay. it still messed up? Yeah, we had, we turned it down. That regulator didn't do anything, did it? Alright. Hey, huh? We out here. Hey Poncho, you like that I got your old wheels? Oh yeah, you do uh. Shane let me borrow those so I could get it down here. Gonna go for another ride in Ponchi Civic. This is the same one that we turboed in a day. You got some fat tires on the front of it now. Got the hood on there. She's been holding up good, huh? Yep. Yep. She's making at least 400 horsepower. Now we can get some pulls during the day. Dude, that hauls ass. Dude, that hauls ass. <laughs> Your face was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, she's fast. <laughs> State trooper. God damn, my fucking heart just went. It's okay, he didn't turn around. We just we just did like 140 right past the cop. Oh, uh, state trooper. And then he didn't turn around, so we're good. One, two, three.
<laughs> you want to turn Ponchi? Oh yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> Let me see that. How much do you want, Kyle? How much do you want? You know when you're about to race with me, you get that fucking drilling feeling. Yeah, that's how I am right now. That's what you got. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's fun, huh? I was doing really, uh, donuts all and it was wheeling it, doing donuts. <laughs> it's like that one on, the one that's on ice. Have you seen the one on ice? This is like that one. It was doing like donuts, doing a wheelie. This is also for the go kart in that box. Reaction. Holy shit, <laughs> motherfucker! I was like, whoa! Grab <laughs> 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 that shit, you fucking. Gotta make some food for that motherfucker. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys uh, kind of enjoyed that little collage. I uh, just dug up as much old stuff as I could. And uh, obviously there's a whole lot more. And uh, that's just, you know, our side of it, the car side of things. And uh, kind of where he stands with us. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you've been giving him and everything already on our recent posts and stuff. So it really means a lot. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't know if I was gonna film this video and I was talking to Brent. I was gonna try to have like everyone in it and I don't know, it just didn't feel right to film at first, but um, yeah, I just decided to do it real quick. I'm just at home in my garage and I already talked to them and they thought it would be a pretty good idea just to go ahead and do one for him real quick. At least get something out there. And also another thing, his family did start a GoFundMe, so I'll put that in the description below if you guys want to go support the GoFundMe for his family. I mean, he was he was an awesome dude, hardworking father. He was always smiling, never failed to make us laugh. He was a funny ass dude. And uh, he actually just had a kid a month ago, another kid, and he already has his like five or six year old son. So it just, it's just really unfortunate. So yeah, I guess like I said, just don't take life for granted. Don't hold grudges, guys. You never know what's going to happen. And uh, with that, we love you, Ponchi. You'll forever be in our hearts. And yeah, it's just going to be really weird without him. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys. Sorry, it is not very happy. Not a very fun video. But uh, we'll get back into the regular content after this so I did want to share this real quick because it definitely kind of threw us off guard so thank you guys for your time and uh, we'll see you later